My name is Dr. Sharad Ratnaraja. I'm a consultant, obstetrician, gynecologist and fertility specialist at the UCSI Hospital. Infertility is the inability to conceive after one year of trying. What I mean by one year of trying is one year of regular sexual intercourse in a couple trying to conceive or have a baby. And um, regular is usually um, defined as um, three to four times of sexual intercourse per week with um, the couple concentrating around the fertility window to conceive a baby. It affects about one in six couples and it is usually the rule of one third in the past. One third of a male contribution one third of a female contribution and one third of a male and female contribution. More and more problems are due to the male. Up to 50% of problems are due to male infertility. The rest of the 50% are due to three different areas in the woman, mainly an ovulation problem, we discussed earlier about irregular cycles and polycystic ovaries. It may be due to a tubal problem where the tubes are blocked, such as endometriosis causing tubal blockage or pelvic inflammatory disease causing tubal blockage. Or it could be due to some other unexplained reason that no cause is found. That is the biggest myth in the Asian population, in the world, and in our clinics. The, re the reason why women go on the pill are twofold. One is as a form of contraception or birth control. And two is to control an underlying problem in the woman. The pill is prescribed by the gynecologist for a wide variety of problems in gynaecology. We discussed polycystic ovaries, we discussed endometriosis, we discussed fibroids, we discussed irregular periods. The pill is given for all of these things, including premenstrual symptoms, uh, which some women actually do present with. Um, so the pill does not cause infertility, it is associated with women who take the pill for an underlying gynecological condition. So it's the biggest myth in our practice. That's a very good question. Um, like everything else in modern life, everything should be a balance and uh, an approach towards healthy lifestyle. So what I mean by a balance is that you don't overeat, you don't overdrink, you don't smoke actually, um, you exercise, everything in moderation, a healthy work-life balance, reducing stress as pos if possible, meditation, things like that that gives you a balanced and holistic approach towards life. That's the first step. Then you have to prevent obvious causes that are associated with infertility, which I've also discussed. For example, reducing weight in polycystic ovarian syndrome. Early diagnosis of a patient presenting with severe painful menses with endometriosis, for example, or early diagnosis of a patient presenting with heavy prolonged bleeding with fibroids, for example. So early detection and treatment uh, would be the next uh, mode of um, call for prevention of infertility. Thank you.